Clay, Clay, in 1927, a film distributor by the name of Charles Mintz contracted Walt Disney Studios to create a series of animation films based on character that Walt Disney developed himself named the Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. Have you heard of the Oswald the Lucky Rabbit? Tell us about that. Well, the, well Oswald the Lucky Rabbit was the first thing that Walt designed, the first character that Walt designed really? that, that did well. It was okay. the first one, okay? Now, the problem was is when he designed, when he developed the, the, uh, the character, he was working under contract for a guy named Mintz, okay? Last name Mintz, Charles Mintz, okay? So he worked for Charles Mintz while developing the character. Well, the, the, the character did well. It, it made a lot of money. So he went to Mintz and he said, hey, Mintz, I don't know what happened. I don't know if, if, if uh, Walt, you know, hosed the guy over or if Mintz, I don't know that story. But what I do know is that Walt did ask him, he said, hey, Mintz, you know, Minsky, could you go ahead and, and give me a, a increased budget, you know, so we can have more animators and grow the company? Mm-hmm. And he says, uh, no, in fact, I'm taking the, the taking the show myself. I'm done with you. So he lost the only character that he had ever developed that was even, I mean, again, we're talking 1927. Wow. So from 1919, when he started, you know, drawing as, as a career to 1927, it was eight, it took him eight years to develop a character, eight. And then he had it, what? Take, take it, it away. away. And sometimes life is going to take away. Stuff that you love. Somebody needs to hear that again. So, sometimes life's going to take away something you love. Um, right now, um, you know, my dad, um, he has um, ALS. Mm. And so that is uh, Lou Gehrig's disease, which means that um, he is not going to be alive very long. And I don't understand it. Um, I don't, I don't get it. Um, I don't, I don't, uh, I believe in God. But I don't, I don't understand it. And uh, we're not going to get into it because this is not a religious program about this. But I don't understand why my dad's being taken away. Because I don't want him to be taken away. Right? But as he is being taken away from me, um, I have to ask myself, what can I learn from this? And some things that I'm learning that are massive through this is what a gift every day is. Yeah. I mean, today is the day that the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. This is a great That's day. That's it. So there's no tomorrow. I, I've always been a sense of urgency guy since my best friend got killed in college. You know, I was 18 years old, going to college. I come back from a DJ show, and my roommate, the only reason I even went to Oral Roberts University was my roommate, Mark DePetris, and he got killed in a car accident. And when you have things taken away, sometimes when things are taken away, you, you view life with a new sense of urgency mm -hmm. or a new clarity or a new sincerity. You begin to look at things in, as, in a different way. Mm -hmm. um, just like if you have glasses and you put them on for the first time, you can see things in a different way. But Walt, Walt says this, and this is something that, that's powerful. The profundity of what he's saying, the, 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 the profoundness of what he's saying is powerful. He says this, all the adversity I've had in my life all my troubles and obstacles have strengthened me. You may not realize it when it happens, but a kick in the teeth may be the best thing in the world for you. Mm -hmm. And I don't, and somebody just needs to hear that. I mean, I'm just telling you, I don't know what you're going through. I don't know, but I do know that at thrive15.com, we really, really care in an irrational way about you. And I know that you were put on this earth for a reason. You're here because you have a certain set of skills. That's right. And you're here. You have a great gift. You have a great, you, there's something that you want to share with the world and you can't do it if you're not willing to work the second job like Walt did, if you're not willing to start the home base business like 52% of small business owners are doing, if you're not willing to go out there and borrow 15,000, which in today's money is $238,000, if you're not willing to draw your Oswald, the lucky rabbit, who then gets taken away, you're not going to have success. You've, and you can't quit. You, if you're going yeah. through hell, don't stop. That's it. Keep going through hell. Keep going. You're going to, if you're going to lose, if you've been working on your rabbit for eight years, don't send me an email going well I guess it's not meant to be if the door won't open kick it open yeah you got to do because this is your life this is this is the most exciting perfect time in the world because it's the only time you have this is this is this is your day so before I turn it back over to Jose I just want to make sure that you get this you you have to know that you have the skills the talent the connections the resources you have what you need to be successful. You just have to start.